Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of July. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So what we see here at the center of your reading is this uh, Seven of Wands. Um, it appears as though you're guarding something to me. And, and I say that because of uh, this card who comes with it. It's a card of treasure. Now, you're on a break or a time apart. That's what this card actually uh, speaks to a break a time apart but from what I can see um, you I feel you're guarding something you could be protecting yourself protecting what is yours there could be fear of loss here you have built a boundary here and either you don't want somebody else to cross it or you yourself are in danger of crossing it and there would be too much to lose that's what I think this is because with whomever this this was um, you may have felt in the past that they had they didn't have the best of intentions okay it it wasn't successful and so now you're very careful um, you're very watchful you carry no weapon, you're down on your knees, but you do have experience. What is at the root of this? Why are you here? Well, let's look below. Below, we have the devil. I feel this could very strongly be a third party. Okay, from the energy I'm picking up in the cards and because it is also coming with this card. So um, it is at the root and one thing to be noted here, clearly you're no longer with this person or in a relationship with this person. You're on a time out or a break. Okay, in your mind, maybe it's over. But one thing to be noted is the devil is still in the upright. Had you truly released him, he would be in the reverse. But we see here that you still have feelings for this person. Even though um, either you've left them out in the cold or they've shut you out in the cold, um, the feelings are still here. So either you brought the tower in on this and um, broke up with this person or walked away from an opportunity with that person or they did. <clears throat> so what we see here in the recent past Excuse me. So what's behind you here is this eight of coins, but only four of the coins have been put up. So this could be about uh, halfway or meeting somebody halfway, but mm, the ace of swords here uh, is, um, you can clearly see it's, it's cutting into the veins. It's cutting the lifeline. There's blood on the ground. So there was some type of truth about this halfway point about being able to um, overcome any difficulties that you had with this card here. And again, because it is a card of a wedding, it could be uh, again that someone was married, you or them. So there was words said or a conversation that was had that uh, severed the lifeline here. Somebody was not willing to meet you halfway, perhaps, or this is your perception.
so now you're on this timeout. Whatever happened back here um, didn't work. Now, if we look up here, we see somebody who's in either in this is your marriage that um, is unhappy and struggling, um, but yet you stay together trying to work through these issues. Um, or this is you struggling with that person. We have the Knight of Cups. So clearly you would like to still offer your cup. Clearly it is you who is handing him the cup. So, um, and in between these two cards, we have the Two of Wands. So this is a decision about the future. This is filling your cups with your wishes. And there's also a warning with this card to be careful of what you wish for. You just might get it. So, and you see um, this person filling their cup, filling all of these cups. They haven't quite completed that yet. Um, so, yeah, I see there's the five of cups here. So this is the person you do desire, this person who's represented here. And um, maybe there's um, maybe there's some regrets here also over this spilled cup, over what took place here. You still feel a deep connection. That seems to be um, being brought to light here, the Two of Cups. Um, and you just don't know what to do. Here you are. Should I try again? Should I put effort again? And this is you. We have the King of Coins on that with the Four of Cups. So you're not, um, you may not be happy uh, with what you have in the moment, or you are not happy uh, with uh, the options that are presented to you at the moment. Moving up here, we have the Knight of Wands. You could have received some news or this is a movement that is yet to happen, that is coming. It's, it is with the hangman. So you could be thinking of making a move. Um, you could be wondering if they would make a move in this position. Um, but I see that the hangman here, some light has been shed. Uh, so maybe he does uh, or either has received this news or it is coming in soon that sheds some light here but um it comes with the seven of cups which is that i, I call it the woe is me card because you can clearly see this person is down in the dumps playing a sad song on, on their little i don't know what it is guitar i guess no it's not uh, <laughs> a banjo maybe i don't know but um yeah, so they're playing a sad song. Again, they're still, no, they're in waiting. So they're waiting on this. Maybe they're, they're playing a sad song because they haven't had any news. But yet the whole reason why they walked away uh, was because of fear of loss. Protecting themselves with that six of coins. Um, this could be also a card of building a defense and so is this one. Being on guard. You feel you have a lot to lose. And that could be financially, especially if, if uh, you are the one who is married. Planned deceptions. There's fears over uh, over a deception. So if this is a lover, there's fears having to do with this. A lot of fears. You don't see any way out. Trying to be strong. I feel like you're studying this relationship. Again, we have this. Uh, we have this like Knight of Pentacles. Could be you. 
you may have decided to cut your losses and get out because of a series of emotional hurts. It's how you view that relationship with the devil. A series of emotional hurts. So you cut your losses and you get out. Maybe you're rethinking it here. Because this card suggests that, well, um, yes, there's ten swords, and yes, I've been hurt, but now is it really over? Now, there is some huge shift or change here that seems to burden you. It is a faded event. It's coming with the wheel, but you do get to choose. So something comes in that was or had to do with the wish or one of your wishes. But you don't seem to see a way to get to it because this chariot is not moving. The Sphinx are down. Um, he doesn't have the information needed um, because the Sphinx, uh, they pose the riddle uh, for travelers to be able to pass. If they don't solve it, they don't get to pass. So there's a riddle or um, something puzzling uh, or a piece of the puzzle that's missing. Now the wheel reappears here and you don't know what to do with it. So you don't know what to do with this change because the wheel is not moving. It's waiting on your decision. So you don't know if there's potential here for a new beginning or if, um, if this is over or should you end it or with this card, that's, um, that's uh, unexpected breakups. That's um, uh, someone who's inconsistent. One day they love you, the next they don't. So this would be what you would fear. It's like there's no stability here. And so you don't know what to, to, uh, what to choose. So for now, nothing moves. And for now, you're in this relationship where you're staying. You see this person is staying. They're not walking away. It's imbalanced. They drink from the cup, but they're bored. They're not fulfilled here. They're missing two cups. So they are very, very tempted because they... They've gotten news, I figure, um, which may have taken time to get to them, but they did get the news. And, um, and the devil is still in the upright, and that's, that's the thing. So you're very tempted to run off to a secret rendezvous here to begin to uh, sculpt or, or build something. The opportunity is here. It's something that gets you excited and passionate, stirs, stirs the passion. You can see this person is working at it, beginning to sculpt it, to shape it. So something is taking shape here. But you're worried here um, with this card. Um, it's like, because of the devil here, it's like there's a draw, a pull, and it's like uh, the, the temptation can be overwhelming, and it's like something that you can never get enough of, almost like an addiction. So this comes, this person's looking at that Ace of Swords, okay. And the Ace of Swords 
how they handle this, how they handle the sword, how they handle the words, um, how they handle a truth, how they apply it. How they wield that sword determines the outcome. Because it's like knowing the truth and applying the truth are two different things. So you may know the truth, but aren't applying it. In effect, turning a blind eye. But will you ever feel complete and happy in that scenario? Speaking the truth or facing it can be painful, even fearful, but it opens the door for movement, for growth and healing one way or the other. So, there's an opportunity here, clearly. You know the truth. Are you going to apply it? You have the little mermaid here. It's a card of sacrifice. So, you may be considering making an enormous uh, sacrifice. You may be restricting your true voice and have given up speaking from the heart about what you truly feel in order to seem more acceptable to another or to avoid conflict. You may be trying to fit into a situation or an environment that is very uncomfortable for you, even painful. And you may be feeling somewhat ill at ease here. This card asks you to consider just why you are sacrificing so much of your true self for this chance at belonging, this chance at love. And interestingly enough, the next card is the children of Lear, and that's about having a voice. <laughs> so speaking the truth, speaking your truth. This card is here to remind you of the eternal nature of your soul, that while um, lifetimes will shift and change, and you will transform from one incarnation to another, your soul is on a journey and you are more, way more than what takes place within this one lifetime. Your soul is ages old. It has already traveled so far. And soon you will understand at least a part of the current journey far more than you do at the present moment. This card also reminds you that it is natural for your belief system to evolve and even radically alter throughout one lifetime. But you are, most of all, allowed to follow the direction the journey of the soul is taking you in. This is a card of a changing belief system or a shift in your beliefs. It is about speaking your story, your truth, which allows for growth. It is wisdom and releasing of burdens. We also have the card of brother and sister here. It is a card of transformation, actually. Um, it speaks about warnings that go unheeded, living with the consequences of not having listened. Um, 
Perhaps you did not heed the advice of a family member or somebody who is like family to you. And now there are consequences or regret. So that is what I have. Um, so you have a decision to make where you want to go with this because it, it's coming back around. And if, if it's still in the upright, okay, it's because you haven't released it. It's because whatever the lesson here was, you didn't learn it. So you're being given another chance here. I thank you for watching for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.